Hello, everybody. My name is Catlink, and I will be running, as uh, Dice has said, uh, Resident Evil 6 Ada campaign. Um, again, the, uh, my favorite campaign thus far. Haven't really run any other campaigns, but Ada's just the greatest because it's Ada. Who doesn't love Ada? Uh, on commentary with me is going to be the Demented Salad and Egdysis. You want to say hello? Hello, everyone. I'm the Demented Salad. <laughs> Hello, I was just talking. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, uh, so customary uh, thing that we usually do with uh, RE6 is that we show off that we are a skillless gamer. Uh, it is just a rule that we have with RE6 that we have to show off that we have no skills, specifically <laughs> for new game. Uh, and besides that, we can now get into Ada here. There we go. Uh, make sure we're offline because uh, don't want any of that. And three, two, one, go. <laughs> all right so uh yeah the first uh thing we're gonna have here is uh don't attract attention to yourself uh, we're gonna do the exact opposite of that and uh attract all the attention to ourselves. what do you mean right. i don't know no, get solid. what do you mean <laughs> yeah we're being super well, sneaky I could, you'll super super I'm sneaky all, all right Excuse me, fellas. Passing through. So you'll probably notice that with RE6, the camera likes to aim in a specific direction. It does this. It's not my favorite thing in the world, but sometimes we will adjust the camera angle just to help us dive through here because what my favorite thing with Ada is that um, maneuvering Ada is basically like maneuvering a boat. It's not exactly the best. Do we get good RNG? No, we don't. We do not get good RNG. That's that unfortunate. That is unfortunate. That's okay. We got this Ooh, here. Oh, you got them though from that. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, going for that sometimes will get you shot uh, and you will fall, uh, but that's okay. As long as we get the uh, grenades yeah, there. Yeah, you're basically looking for explosive arrows there for later on in the room to uh, mess with DA mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah, and uh, this game does have DA, and unfortunately, it's not uh, not the funnest thing to go through. All right, hold on. There you go. Aid is basically the only campaign you can really manipulate DA in because of the explosive arrows. Uh, everything there else is just too much time loss. Yeah. Uh, you'll probably start to notice that I go in on a dive angle when it comes to the uh, vents and such. We also try to roll. Because rolling somehow doesn't use uh, stamina. For some reason. Yeah, you, you spend most of your time in these games just rolling around in vents and basically anywhere you can that's not walking. <laughs> yeah, because crawling uh, takes a lot of stamina and it does uh, kind of... a little. It's a little bit slower as well. Uh, so we have to make snake. Snake. Yeah, this, uh, right. this is an RNG room. It's like the only real RNG puzzle in this game and... Both combinations of the door and the actual answer to the puzzle are completely different every time you come in here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thankfully, the dials are exactly the same every single time, so it's not too yeah. bad. And uh, we actually had pretty good uh, well, that was a pain in the ass. rotation. That's actually pretty good, yeah. There. You can you can lose yeah. a ton of time if you get a really bad cycle. There you go. So we're going to shoot that vent there, because if we don't, uh, a cutscene, like a minor cutscene plays, so we... Tend to shoot it so we don't have to go through that. There you go. Uh, also, as a really quick uh, explanation of things, uh, for one, people have asked what's DA. DA is difficulty adjustment, meaning uh, the worse you're doing, the easier the game becomes. So later on the run, Cat will kind of be manipulating the game to think she's doing bad, but in reality, it's just going to make enemies weaker. Um, she won't be hit as hard, stuff like that. And also, uh, the Ada campaign is really unique because it was the only one designed to be one player. Resident Evil 6 was meant to be a co-op game, so as a result of that, you're kind of paired with other people. Uh, the Ada campaign is very solo, so Cat's going to be able to do everything just kind of on her own accord. Yep. Uh, they kind of added the uh, multiplayer ability last minute uh, for Ada, so that's why you don't really have an extra character with you. Um, when you play solo, but you can play this as co-op. It's just not very. <laughs> Basically, if you're if you're not Ada, you're not doing yeah, anything. It's a strange experience. <laughs> yeah. All right, so right now we're just waiting through here. So you're probably wondering why I'm pausing occasionally. Essentially, we're just skipping dialogue uh, because it takes a while for her to get through the dialogue. So we just pause to skip through it. 
And uh, yeah, and you'll probably see me do that uh, quite a few times early on in the run. Yeah, there's a, there's a good few places in it where it does that. It basically just cancels the end of the dialogue and skips it to the next one. Mm -hmm. I see you were expecting me. Also, Ada with her banger one-liners, as usual. <laughs> he has quite a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, it's not really than Tivo without quippy one-liners, is it, though? Sorry, it's part of the military training at this point. There you go. Sorry, boys. My dance card is full. All right. It's a pretty good one, one. <laughs> All right. Ooh, that part didn't go too bad. All right. So uh, Ada has moments where she just likes to walk. You can't reload. You can't do anything. You just have to walk to where you need to go, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. And just wait until she's done talking. Uh, other than that, you're just a lot. There's a few waiting segments, but thankfully they're all basically at the beginning, so it's not too bad. There's uh, there's one later on that's like quite long. <laughs> mm, yeah. All right, we're gonna pick up this shotgun. Uh, so we're not gonna try. We're gonna try and not use the shotgun until a little later on, uh, because we are going to need shoddy ammo for this section. Um, just because we do a lot of quick swapping with weapons and the shotgun at close range is really, really good. I'm just going to use it the one time here to shoot this guy to activate a cutscene. Oh, yeah. excuse me. That enemy can be quite oh. annoying. Oh, sorry. Um, there we go. go. That was a... Yeah, he rolled there. I was not... Did, did, he just... did you see that? Wait, was he on top of my head for I a think, second? I think he teleported on top of his head. Uh... uh I don't know what happened there, but uh, sure, we'll accept Are it. Are you saying bounce? that's never happened before? Yeah, that's, that's never, never happened, happened before. before. Yay. <laughs> I've got 600 hours in this game. I've never seen that. <laughs> you have 600 hours in this game? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, so for those who don't know, uh, Demented Salad is currently the world record holder for this category, uh, which thank you very much for helping with commentary today. So if you... Don't know Demented Salad, please go check him out. He's great. I am more than happy to uh, help. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> He's been a, a big help when it comes to uh, running and learning this game because I'm actually super new to this run. I only, I think a total I have like 70 hours. Are hey, you doing a great job? It, we're, get, we're making progress. Things are happening. It's all good. Uh, but this run is actually quite fun. I, I'm not particularly the biggest of fans of RE6. However, it is a decent run. It, is, it takes it's, a bit for the movement. <laughs> yeah, the movement's a bit awkward to get used to, but it's definitely a, a really fun run, if, despite like the story and all that. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to do a, a little bit rolling here. We're just going to skip this cutscene, and we're going to wait till she gets down on the floor. So I'm just going to uh, wait for that. So this is where rolling really pays off, uh, just because this part crawling is a, uh, a slow crawl, and I mean a slow crawl. So we like to just roll our way out. You can't see anything really, um, yeah. but yeah. The camera angle's <laughs> it, trying to like it's trying to stay on something very specific here, but we're not letting it. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. So good. that part crawling takes like three minutes almost. It's pretty bad so yeah we just roll through everything all right time to walk again so much for the, so much for the rescue sub yeah yeah the submarine is uh it's not doing too hot at the moment yeah it's currently sinking uh, quite heavily right now yeah Sorry. So sometimes this uh, the, the sub will cause you to stumble a little bit. So what we do is we'll often slide into the stumble or we will roll into the stumble to cause, uh, basically to make sure Ada doesn't fall all over the place, which sometimes that will probably happen because the timing on it is uh, quite weird. Yeah, it, it just basically gives you a few iframes so it won't knock you over. You can, you can do it yeah. in quite a few areas in all the campaigns. Mm-hmm. All right, so, uh, yeah, we need to beat the water, even though uh, it doesn't matter how fast you go in this section. You have a little bit of, you get a, a lot of leeway for yeah. this part. If, if you mess up really bad, though, you will drown. 
I yeah. have I have messed up some movement before and drowned here. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is it is possible to. Uh, oh, there we go. It is possible to drown in this section, but thankfully the leeway is quite nice. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, you have to really Easy mess box. up to drown here. Yeah. There you go. Very nice. Nice. Oh, ex Ada. <laughs> Ada, we're outside of the, t the vent, uh, the exit sweetheart. The not so graceful. Yeah, she nice. does that for some reason. There we go. We got the slide. Hopefully we get some good RNG in this run, because this run does quite uh, does have quite a bit of RNG to it. It's not the end of the world RNG, but it is just unfortunate RNG. Yeah. Uh, you'll notice later on. It's not right. like Jake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've, I've heard uh, some horror stories with Jake. Oh, and... Uh, Mainly from you. <laughs> yeah, my, my favorite part of this uh, sub, sub chapter, the 50, 50 FPS water. Uh, for some reason, this little section here puts you to 50 FPS, no matter how good your PC is. Mm-hmm. Because 2012 water physics, I guess. Something like that. All right. Mr. Grinch. All right. So now we are going to be coming up to a uh, swimming section, an underwater section with Ada. How she swims in all this gear and clothes uh, beats me. Cloth armor. <laughs> it's going to take more than a handprint to operate yeah. this. I, I, oh, you know. <laughs> so, uh, sometimes you have to not hold the A button because yeah. the A button is also uh, what causes her to go up uh, on ledges or random like things that she can jump over. You'll be running and then all of a sudden she's like, oh, that ledge seems interesting. Let me just jump over that real quick. Yeah. <laughs> ledges, and, ledges and ladders are very sticky in this game, especially on high FPS. <laughs> Like you will mm -hmm. get, you will randomly climb a ladder that's five foot away from you if you're running near it. Yeah, it's uh, you'll it will probably happen to me at some point during this run. Oh, oh, there, okay, that was a weird stumble. Gracious exit, gracious exit indeed. All right, so we're just gonna go into this little hole here. I used to do this a completely different way, and uh, I didn't know that that hole was there. Probably I'm just have told uh, you that. yeah, <laughs> it's okay. But uh, now, yeah, it just brings you basically to where you need to go because we had to turn the power on so we could uh, smash this power button? Question mark? Yeah. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> I think it's a power button. I don't even know. Oh. It's some sort of screen we have to break. I think oh, it, we turned on the power, but that's just a door we need to open to get back. <laughs> yeah, it. this game has some weird things about it. All um, right, so... Let's hope, uh... Oh, sorry. Stumble, stumble. All right. So we're just going to wait for these guys to come down. So this is basically just a time section where we have to answer questions. So I'm just going to hope they drop something good down there, maybe. Oh, nice. It would seem not. We love shotgun ammo. How we're going to be needing that. Worked. Yeah, same, actually. <laughs> Uh, all right, so we have to, excuse me. Yeah, so he's going to shoot at me. That's okay. Um, we're just going to, uh, well, I like to just dodge these guys because they don't really, um, they don't really do much other than they target onto a specific spot and you're just like, okay, I'm just going to walk around. Yeah, they'll keep spawning if you keep killing them. And then at some point they'll start spawning oh. like bigger enemies and scarier enemies. Yeah, and uh, you get some bees, you get some uh, smoke from yeah. time. Oh, where are you yeah, going? You get some flies. Um, but basically, you want to just stand up here when answering questions. If you're on the floor when you finish answering a question, it'll just say, no, thank you. Please answer it again. Yeah, <laughs> you have to be on this platform for answering the questions, which uh, can take a while. Oh, we have a new friend. Oh. Oh, they're synchronized dancing now. Let's Damn. go. Wow, that was that was interesting. Going for the ballet. Yeah. All right. Just, uh... Excuse me, boys. My dance card is full. All right. 
we're coming up on the end of this section now. It's just yeah, basically or, waiting out. Yeah, I'm just hoping I don't get grabbed before I have to go, which does happen from time to time. All right. Oh, no. Now they're both on the plot. Oh, no. Never mind. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. You said you said uh, ones, oh, no. He's going oh. back up. They're really trying their okay, best. Okay, so now they? we're just... Yeah, they're really yep. going for it. Oh, oh no. Yep. And the grab right before I have to go. That's okay. We're out. Oh, and that's the end of chapter one. It's a good chapter one. That yeah, was not bad. Not bad. Oh, 1423. Not bad. It was really good. All right. Yeah. So the timer technically stops in between chapters. Uh, it doesn't really... Basically, we would add up all of our times from the chapters and then just kind of go from there to uh, total out our actual time. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Unlike many RE games, this game's actually timed via IGT. <laughs> yeah. All right. So chapter two. Yay. Um, your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I love chapter two. It's literally the best chapter. And I'm sorry for the uh, the shakiness going down the stairs. Like I said earlier, the camera likes to stay in one position generally. All right. So we are going to collect a good amount of ammo here because if we don't, we might run the chance of... Uh, we might run the chance of not having ammo and nobody wants that. Yeah, like, there's very specific sections where you need to have like certain ammo. All right, so we're just waiting for these two dudes to show up, and they're dead. Nice. Easy peasy. Uh, and for those who are probably wondering, uh, yes, I did break uh, that lock with my heel. The special Don't ask skill. me how. <laughs> <laughs> Ada just has titanium heels, apparently. Have okay. you seen a kicks? <laughs> She does have some pretty powerful kicks. She's a girl boss. I would not want to get kicked by. Uh, <laughs> I would not want to get kicked by Ada. That would be a uh, one trip to uh, the hospital, probably. Maybe. All right. well, you know. All right. So we just put in a key pu uh, a key to the door, but we need two more pieces. So we're going to go on a little adventure to get the rest. Uh, however, it's not going to be an easy adventure as it usually is with Resident Evil. Excuse me, Ada, go through the door. Thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah, Ada, for some reason, sometimes will get stuck on corners or just stuck on random things. And you're just like, Ada, what are you doing? It's, it, to be fair, it's mostly because of the FPS, I guess. It's not as bad as in RE5 because it has invisible walls. But like, you still get stuck on a lot of stuff in this if you're not careful. Yeah. All right, so we got the key. We can just unlock the door. <laughs> oh my goodness! You're just showing off uh, the tech, yeah. Yeah, she loves to uh, bump into doors and anything, and sometimes the confirm button just does not show up. All right, one, two. Don't grab me, please. Thank Ooh, you. Oh, the iframes. I got real lucky on that. Uh, I was very surprised we didn't get the, uh, for some reason my sniper didn't stay out there. That's okay. That's okay. We are going to go into this hole here. There you go. But I have another key. So this part, we usually like to do this guy first because we won't get electrocuted twice and, uh, not really fond of getting electrocuted. Not, uh, not my favorite pastime. There you go. Fun fact, I only learned this after my run. <laughs> Have you tried it? Getting electrocuted twice? In general. <laughs> A few times, yeah, sure. Uh -huh. There you go. So we're just going to shoot him real quick because uh, if we don't, he takes forever to get up. He likes to take a nap before he comes to nod our ankles. I mean, as one usually does as a zombie, I guess. He did fall out of a vent. He needs some time. <laughs> we're we're speed running, okay? We have no time. All right, there you go. Oh, he's already down. Aw, we uh -oh. missed him falling. <laughs> I'm, I'm upset now. Yeah. The run is ruined. Got to reset. <laughs> if you're early enough, you can like you can watch him fall down, and he'll fall through you if he hits you on the way down. <laughs> it's it's great. I love it. <laughs> All right, so these guys can be a little bit of a pain in the butt. They uh, like to stay on their side like this or bump into the wall and not cooperate. 
There we go. Uh, he's going to be a problem. There we go. Uh, oh, I don't like this. Oh? I don't. Oh. You might be good. Oh. No! Yeah, we're going to have to fall. Yeah. So these guys, specifically that one, he likes to... Uh, he likes to just not stick to the wall. So if he does not stick to the wall, Ada, where are you going? Um, he'll fall on the ground. And if he's not stuck to the wall, the floor will collapse and you have to go do it again. Thankfully, the two others should be. Yeah, they're, good. they're still good. Yeah, yeah. The, the issue with that, there's like a really weird hitbox on that specific wall that you're shooting at. Like, uh, how, how does that work? I don't know if that's. Uh, you know what? I'm just not gonna. Nope. Just gonna keep going. <laughs> it just shouldn't work, and it does. It's such a stupid wall. <laughs> like, it doesn't make sense, really. Yeah. There are several ways you can do that room, but like all of them are horrible. That is like a big run killer. That part. Yeah, and thankfully it's at the very beginning of the run for the most part. But yeah, it, every single time I always struggle with that one specific zombie. This doesn't want to be nice. Hey, wee! I love this part. It's my favorite with all the zipping and sliding. <laughs> Great. All right. So, hey, we need a key. Oh, look at that. It's over here. Let's go on an adventure. How convenient that they're both stood there looking at you. I know. Crazy. So, uh, again, let's see. Okay, that's good. That's fine. Not bad. Not bad. So this part here, we're going to hope the, uh, the pipe bomb dude. Oh, excuse me. You might get it because he hit you. You did. There you go. There you hey! go. There you go. Sometimes they can be uh, not so nice and end up on... They, the, the guy with the grenade, you want him to be up there. You don't want him to be anywhere else, pretty much, because unfortunately, uh, he won't kill the rest of the people or the rest of the zombies with the grenade, it will just, you'll have to manually kill them with everything else. All right. What the heck is going on here? Excuse me. I've never seen the scream of scream from inside of the other four. Uh, excuse me. Oh, yeah. While we're doing this fight, really oh. neat bit of tech that uh, is, I guess, universal to RA6. Um, if you rotate both of the analog sticks, it doubles the movement speed of any QTE. Very true, very true. It is, it is very useful in a lot of circumstances in this game. Oh, yeah. All right. Especially if you're no hope. All right, buddy. Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. My goodness, they're so aggressive right now. My lord. They're okay. really good in fire. Relax. It's not oh. very often that they, they do that jump either. Yeah, that, that was a more... Uh, that's never really happened before. Very cool. Uh, I'm <laughs> out of ammo, almost. That's okay. Barrels. Love for the barrels. Oh, of course. Okay, well, I'm just gonna squeeze right through. Excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Nice. You're done. There so you go. It takes one headshot to kill these enemies with the sniper. They're actually really tanky, but for some reason, if you hit them in the head... Like, they, they just die. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's nice when you get the headshot, but yeah, you don't you don't always get the headshot. Yeah, especially that one, because he, he really hates being headshot. He will duck out of the way purposely to avoid that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That happened during my practice. I was like, oh, where are you going? Oh, you're on the floor now. Yeah. Like, very cool. Some of the zombies in this game have a very strange sense of, like, how well they move. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's like they know. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to be very careful here because uh, we're very low on stamina and rolling through here is not ideal. So as long as we get past these two, nice. we're fine. Uh, but yeah, sometimes they can be kind of rude. There you uh -oh. go. Oh, that should be done. No? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, you see what it, you see what we mean by the... They're a little tank. What hit me? <laughs> what, what hit me? There's no one there. And this is that's this is our first whopper that we're going to meet. Yeah, you, you'll uh, you'll be meeting quite a few of them. Yeah. Uh, 
All right, well, that's not exactly what I wanted, uh, but that's fine. You're not getting very good RNG with the Samo. Uh, yeah, no, not really. I would like more shotgun ammo. That would be great, but uh, it is what it is. It do be what it do be. So we, now we have both keys. Uh, we can just go through here and uh, grab the final puzzle piece for the door. There you go. In this uh, conveniently placed chest. <laughs> Thank you, Simmons. All right. So we're going to be coming up to the part where we needed a majority of the uh, shotgun ammo. We're going to try our best not to use it as best we can. But uh, before that, we're going to uh, have a little bit of fun with Leon and Helena and uh, Deborah. Good old Debbie. Love her. Oh, good old Deborah. Right. <laughs> uh, hopefully she's nice. During practice, she was really nice. Very generous lady. Uh, probably not going to be generous today. Very true. My guess, anyways. All right. And there we go. Get to see with everybody. There you go. There we go. Here yeah. she is. <laughs> Good old Debbie. The one, the only. Uh -huh. So Deborah has these uh, like tendrils that come out of her back, and we're gonna have to. I'm gonna let her hit me here. And just dump a. Uh, He's kind of meant to emulate the spider, like the spider legs, because I think she has like an extra four behind her that actually just don't come out fuller. Yeah, uh, but there are three weak points on her tendrils that do come out, and basically the goal is to shoot just the tendrils uh, to continue on. But sometimes Deborah is a little jumpy. Mm hmm. <laughs> she is. Absolutely just... the best feeling ever. <laughs> she's probably one, she's one of the bigger bits of RNG in this run like this is this is where if you fail it like if you get really bad RNG your run could probably die if you're on like a really good time yeah uh she I'm hoping she gives good RNG but it it, it you never know um I guess we'll just have to find out mm. Whee. I like this little little jumpy section it's always super fun <laughs> We're waiting for Helena to pull the lever. Where Where is she? We don't know. Uh, she's taking her sweet time. There she is. There's my girl. There we go. And this is where the fight's going to start properly in a second. Yeah. There we go. Thank you, Leon. Sometimes Leon can be a little slow there. Uh, so this is where, like, the only part where you kind of have to rely on enemy or, like, uh, AI specifically to help you. And even then, the uh, dialogue it just depends on whether Deborah's how she's feeling on the day. Debbie, you gonna show? There you go. There you go. That's gonna put us down here. There we go. And this is where the fight properly starts. Now, this is where all the RNG begins. Mm hmm. Can we get some blesses in the chat and hoping uh, Deborah plays nice today? Some RNG uh, blesses, please. Yeah. <laughs> She probably will not be super nice. There oh, she did give you nice RNG. So, uh, basically, what um, Deborah can do here is she can either jump up and then instantly show a weak spot, or she can start doing what she's doing now, where she'll start jumping around and then jump onto the field. And yeah. Like, her, 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 and her RNG can just, like, range from anywhere between those. <laughs> like, uh, Kat's getting mm. quite bad RNG now. Yeah. Uh, no, she's gonna jump into the field again. Yeah. So this is probably the worst case scenario for RNG where she just does not want to cooperate at all and she will start jumping at me. The, there are some God. there are some safe strats for this, but it's like it, it's also still slow to do. <laughs> but yeah. the, main, the main objective of this fight is just to take out the three tendrils that are glowing. And there's, there's many different ways to go about it, but... Uh, there you go. Nice. Pretty good. She actually pretty good. kept them open and actually stayed still. <laughs> yeah, so sometimes uh, Leon and Helena will actually close, like they, they will basically shoot the tendrils before you can, and unfortunately, uh, you don't have time to shoot them. It's really annoying when it happens because it happens quite a lot. Very true. Right. We're just doing some DA manipulation right now, some difficulty adjustment manipulation. Uh, we're gonna down ourselves real quick. Helena's gonna pick us up. She's gonna give us a good old tap, tap in the chest real quick, cause that, that helps. somehow brings you that helps. I don't know. Uh, we're gonna eat some, eat some Tic Tacs real quick. 
We do love our Tic Tacs here. I love how they just have like the similar sound of Tic Tacs and everything. <laughs> it's such a it's... weird design feature. Yeah, it's, it's a strange one, but uh, yeah. So this section is basically an on-rail section. We literally don't have to do anything. We're just waiting for this to come down and then we're waiting for uh, Leon to get onto the cart. It's basically like the RE4 minecart section. Yeah. But we literally don't have to like do anything. There's basically nothing you can do here to speed it up. <laughs> it, like, even if you shoot all these the zombies here, they they almost just stand there and wait. Mm-hmm. So we just we just sit and let things happen. We let Helena do all the work. Thank you, Helena. You you're doing great, sweetie. <laughs> there we go. There. Now Leon should be getting us uh, getting on over here and uh basically I'm just gonna sit here. I'm gonna take a nap. I mean, at least this section is more fun as Leon. Because he's doing something. Yeah, Leon, you, you're actually like putting in the work, whereas Ada's just like, I'm, oh, excuse me. <laughs> I was complimenting you, sir. All right. So they're just gonna they're just gonna do all the work of actually avoiding the pillars up here, where I'm just gonna sit. Yep. <laughs> I mean, you know, why duck when you can just lie down? Yeah. Oh. oh, here comes Hi. Debbie. Hi, Debbie. <laughs> hey, girl. <laughs> so, what Capcom would like to, well, they would like you to believe here is that this isn't an on-the-rail section, and that you actually have to shoot her to do this. But in fact, you can you can just sit here and do nothing for the next two minutes, and the section will complete itself. <laughs> yep, I I just. I, for the most part, I think I can able, I'm able to dodge most of this because uh, she will swing and throw her tendrils around, and we're just kind of like, oh, I'm just gonna sit here, yeah, and not do anything, and I'm just gonna, I, you know, I just feel like rolling while Leon and Helena are like fighting for their <laughs> life. <laughs> You're just chilling. I mean, like... oh, sorry, we actually have to do one thing for this section. Oh yeah, one specific uh, which thing. Is... One specific thing, and that's it. Nothing else. Coming up right now. Wow, shoot the drums. And we're done. All right. <laughs> I'm going back to bed. Yeah, that's it. See you guys later. That's the run. Yep, that's it. Yeah, RE6 definitely enjoys its on-rail sections, especially with, uh, at least uh, I've noticed this with Ada's section quite a bit. He has a few of them. <laughs> mm-hmm. So for the most part, we just sit here and let things happen. Mm. If you are low on the ammo, you could get the three pots after this fight. Because they usually give me some nice shotgun ammo. <laughs> and now Ada... Oh, no, she's... Where is she? Hello? Uh, she'll be here in a second. Oh, yeah. I forgot there's other drums, but for some reason, those barrels don't mean anything. <laughs> it's just the one specific barrel. Oh, she gonna actually? How do, I don't know how that doesn't hit me. Look, those never hit for some reason. I don't understand why. All right, so we have to deal with Debbie one more time here, but we only have to shoot her once if my aim is uh, not bad. Oh, yep, aim is bad. Aim is very bad. To be fair, the hitbox on that is actually quite bad. It's a very tiny hitbox. Yes. And she moves it around a lot, so it can be really easy to miss sometimes. Helena! All right, bye, Debbie. Bye, bye. Wait, no, come back. <laughs> <laughs> no. You All didn't right. die. See, it wasn't on screen. <laughs> it was fine. She, she's just, uh, she just, she got grabbed. It's fine. Helen is dealing with her now. Exactly. <laughs> Characters don't die unless it's on screen. We know this. Exactly. All right, so we are now going to be going into the main section of why we saved all of our shotgun ammo as much as possible. Uh, hopefully, they're nice and uh, give me more shotgun ammo in that section, but we'll find out. It could be. And, uh, right. here's, a, here's a whopper uh, guarding the Two key whoppers. for some reason. And he's, he's just chilling there. There's like four of them in this area. Um, we don't see them again for the rest of the run, except for like one little bit. Yeah. 
Thankfully, uh, they don't really get in your way too much, uh, but they can be problematic sometimes. Uh, there's one of them likes to crawl into the hole you need to crawl into, and mm -hmm. you're like, no, but I need to go there. And they're like, no, too bad. It, they can also kind right. of turbo as well, where for some reason they just they just aggro early out of nowhere. Yeah. All right. Uh, and here we are. Yeah, so... In this section, you can literally go to a door and it will activate a cutscene, but instead, uh, we're not going to... Uh, we're going to fully ignore that cutscene, and we're just going to... Uh, we're just going to do that, which is a lot of ammo switch or uh, weapon switch, which the switching. I can't... I swear I can talk. It, we're basically just quick shotting them. Um, the, re the reason we do this is because um, if you kill these very specific ones, it will skip an entire fight where they will spawn a ton of um, big shell enemies that are actually really hard to kill. <laughs> yeah. I, I they take a lot of ammo. Yeah. I don't know how Soul has found this. I, I, it's beyond my com my comprehension as to why she thought this was possible, but she found it and I'm just rolling with it. Oh, thank God. Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're nice. good, we're good. Looking down on this poor man. Oh, yeah. There we go. Pathetic! All right. <laughs> we have now skipped the entire fight, which, even if you do this slowly, it is still significantly faster than, like, doing it normally. It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, it's pretty It's pretty wild how, like, how fast, essentially, they're like, just getting through that with just shooting them. And also way less annoying. Ooh, S rank. Let's go. Nice. That was a really good chapter, too. Nice, yeah, that's good. All right, you can now purchase skills. No, I am a skillless gamer forever. You mean you don't want you Lone Wolf? <laughs> no, I don't want Lone Wolf, actually, even though it's kind of useless. I don't even know if I can use it, like... <laughs> All right. Ada Wong is? Question mark? No, Where is Ada Wong? Party. I'm Ada Wong. No, I'm Ada Wong. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how basically RE6 Ada campaign is. No, I made a one. No, that's the, that's I the whole made preface of RE6, really, when you think about it. True. <laughs> I made a Ooh. one. No, I made no, a one. <laughs> Everybody's Ada. <laughs> so right now we're just going through the back streets of Weeping China. Uh, and thankfully we don't have to deal with many enemies. However, we can trip and fall. Yeah, there are, there are many instances where you can like fall over um, dead people or enemies, and you'll you'll just stagger over them, and it's not exactly slow, but it's it's kind of annoying to do. <laughs> yeah, it's they put the bodies right in a very like inconvenient spot too, so like you, they right on the edge, and if you kind of hit it a little too much, like if you're a little too close, like it will still. Oh, Ada. Yeah, that will kind of happen. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be something like that, pretty much. That's the, the sticky walls again. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's basically, if you're a little too close, like you, your touch, the hitboxes touch a little bit, uh, you will trip and fall just like that. But it, thankfully, it's not too bad. I'm going to not run through there because uh, Ada is magnet. Very true. There you go. <laughs> yeah, this this chapter is probably like the worst chapter for it too. Uh, when it comes to Ada just wanting to jump on anything that she's close to while you're holding down A. Oh, one hundred percent. Like basically any area where it's just a, a small enclosed space and multiple things you can climb, you, you can have a bad time. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Ooh, I love being chased. Wow, this is. Amazing. Oh, please don't kill me. All right. Hopefully I get the slide here. There you go. I think yeah, sometimes if you slide a little too early there, uh, she'll decide she wants to crawl instead. Have you um, have you seen this part on co-op? <laughs> um, I've done this part on co-op. It's very barren for the person yeah. who plays the other character. For anyone who doesn't know, the person who plays co-op with you, they can't open doors or do anything, so they just teleport around the place while you're running around and doing flips and tricks. <laughs> you're doing all the cool stuff while your co-op partner's just like, yeah, this is okay, I guess. Yeah, they're just along for the ride. <laughs> yep. All right. Hopefully... 
Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Don't hit me, please. Is this guy... So he can go down in five shots, or he can go down in... Oh, 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 okay. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, this fight is very... Like, having low DI in this fight is very important, because uh, it's the difference between him going down in, like, six shots or taking a million. Yeah. And uh, the zombies being around you also really do not help matters. No, they, they can grab you, and then, unfortunately, if you get tapped while they're holding you... Uh, you die. Oh, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying not to die here. Because the thing is with zombies in this game, it's not there like it's not like many other Resident Evil games where they have like an actual lunge animation. If you're near them when they're holding their hands out, they will grab you if you walk within their range. There is no dodging it. <laughs> oh, shotgun ammo. Nice. nice. Good fight as well. Ooh, that was, uh, yeah, I do not like this guy. We have to deal with him quite a few times on this chapter as well, uh, like right now. Yeah, this, this chapter is basically his story. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's the life of what what I don't even know what the enemy is called. Oh, it's it's a really weird name. Hang on. I mean, we have we have characters that are named Whopper. Me true. In this, so I would not be surprised oh. how uh, strange okay, it would be. It's called Ubeastfo. Obeastfo? What? Ubeastfo. Obeastfo. Oh, what? I did. <laughs> sure. Listen. <laughs> Listen, the, the RE6 enemies are just very, very strangely named, okay? A little bit. Just, just, just a touch. All right, he's coming back. Basically, this whole section here, we just have to dodge him. We don't actually have to, like, do anything. We just alley -oop, back and forth until uh, basically this is done because it's all on a timer. We're just waiting for it to crash, and then we can continue the fight. This part on Corp is also very painful because... Agent can't do any of these tricks. He has to. He has to slide and hope. <laughs> poor agent. Pour one out for agent because agent just gets absolutely destroyed on this section. Yeah, he he's in for a rough time anywhere. Oh oh, <laughs> that could have gone badly. <laughs> nice. Go. Oh, I was, uh, yeah, so basically we want to shoot him. Uh, we want to do a lot of weapon swapping there, so that way we can shoot him as fast as possible to activate this cutscene. Otherwise, we're just kind of, uh, yeah, otherwise we're just kind of running around in circles until he's uh, done. Oh, shotgun ammo. Yeah, there's, there's a few time sections in this game, but this is one of the few ones where you actually have to just, you have to damage him in before go. the next uh, the next thing is off. And you'll know this sequence is finished. As soon as um, the BSA start the... talking, yeah. Yeah. So now we're just kind of dodging him. We don't have to do any damage to him because uh, it's basically done. We're just waiting for the train to show up. There we go. And then uh, we get to send. I don't know how he, he hit me there. It, this cutscene kind of makes no sense because he'll be like a mile away from you, and it's just like, oh yeah, he he's hitting you now. And then you, uh, right. you send him over to Jake and Sherry's campaign. He has a nice little fight with them. Yeah. yeah. And what, we're going to have to save them a little bit. A little, a little bit of helping. Somewhat. We did cause it. True. True. All right. So we're just going to have a Michael Bay moment real quick. Whee! Explosions! Who doesn't love explosions? All right. Uh, so, ooh, okay. We are good. We're actually doing pretty good for uh, time right now. Doing pretty good. All right. So now we're going to be helping Jake and Sherry here real quick. Uh, they're kind of trapped on a boat, and we're we're gonna try and as uh, assist them a little bit by getting rid of some enemies. All right. We're just gonna. Do that, reload, and we're gonna shoot these flying boys out of the air. Where are they? Sometimes they, they, do, they just don't spawn. Oh, well, you know what? I'm not complaining. You we're gonna have... wait until they jump. <laughs> you can have up to four enemies though that spawn, and sometimes none of them will spawn at all. There you go. Yeah, I, I don't know. Usually they spawn there. That's so weird. Uh,. Okay. Well, since we're reloaded and ready to go, we're just going to wait for uh, hey, our best friend! 
Making another entrance. Oh my uh, god, it's him. <laughs> I love Beast Foe. I just learned about his name two minutes ago, but I love him. Oh, okay. We're uh, we're going over there. Yeah, th this entire section is just damaging him enough to the point where it moves to the next thing. Really quick, what was his name again? Beast Vo? Beast Vo. Beast Vo. Like, Beast Vo. Beast Vo? Beast Vo? Beast Vo? Beast Vo? Beast Vo? Beast Get Low? You Beast Vo, not U Beast. I don't know. I'm just saying the quality uh, of difference in names. The, earlier there's an enemy named Hubert, and now we have U Beast Vo. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. All right. So we're just going to... Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. They just uh, took care of everything. Cleaned up. They cleaned up for me. Thank you. I love that. Less work for me. Yeah, you can you can either just run off here and wait for them or like... Because sometimes they'll take ages to go onto that boat if there's enemies around. But sometimes they'll just clean yeah. up on their own. The AI just kind of do what they want. Yeah, it, it's... I just can't miss the one part, the what my favorite part of this chapter. This part, man. <laughs> this is the sole reason Cat runs this. The only reason I run this. Mhm. Mm oh my god, they're like they're struggling over here. Yeah. yeah. So right now we're just kind of waiting for uh, Jake and Sherry more. over here to bring the boat. As you can see, there's something swimming in the water. Oh, just over in the distance. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure about. what that could be. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, yeah, totally fine. Um, this section is a little RNG in the fact that, as you can see, Jake isn't driving the boat here. He's just kind of stood still. Um, it, it, this, the, the AI isn't very well made in this game. It's 2012. Um, My favorite part is he, he's uh, fair enough. Too. Just Jake, he always gets hit here for some reason. Yeah, if, if he's not driving the boat, he will always get hit here. Bug. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, Get wrecked, Jake. It, it is slower to, for him to not drive the boat. You can manipulate it, but I mean, you can't miss out on that. No, oh, no, that's my favorite part. I can't, I can't take that away. That's core speed running tag. Exactly. All right, so now we're just waiting. Oh, what is this? What could that be? Oh, it's our best friend. Did At it happen? again. Funnily enough, if you're playing go. as Jake and Sherry, that doesn't happen. He, he, he can glitch inside the boat and just go under it. <laughs> you know what? I would love that. That'd be great. <laughs> again, less work for me. <laughs> oh, it's not. You have to wait for him to come back up and do it again. <laughs> oh, no. Not again. All right. So right now we're just waiting for the boat to kind of bring itself over to the uh, killer propellers. Uh, they're fine, right? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're completely fine. safe. Like, nothing bad's going to yeah. happen. Look. The, the, the. the ship's definitely not going in that direction. <laughs> Sherry. Oh. Sherry. Every time. Sherry. There's, there's propellers. Uh, look, look behind you. I guess I'll save you, Sherry. <laughs> pain in my pain in my side. All right. Ever since I had uh, useless, I'm telling you. <laughs> she does cause me quite a bit of grief in RE2, especially classic. She causes me Woo! grief in every game she's in. <laughs> <laughs> Love Sherry. Definitely don't uh, enjoy when she decides to not cooperate, though. <laughs> Which is often always. Love to hate Sherry. Yeah. She's that was great. nice, that, uh, that movement. You can get stuck there really easily because of that camera change. Mm-hmm. All right, and uh, that's the end of chapter three. That was also oh, a we're... really nice chapter three. Yeah, that was really good. 11.50, nice. We take that. Earned a dog tag. Our golly gee. So for new game runs of this game, we do actually have to uh, have a backup save. So anytime we want to reset, uh, we usually put it to read only, but for crashing purposes, for marathons, I took it off read only, which would help with resets. Uh, but if you're resetting normally, you would have to re-put the old save file back in and manually do that every single time you want to reset. Very, very annoying. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a simple fix, but like doing it every time you have to reset can get really annoying. But mm. it's it's just how a lot of the old games kind of did it in those days. Like RE5 is the same. Yeah, RE5 also uh, is pretty bad for that too. Well, you can actually run RE5 without a save full stop if you're doing new games, so that's really nice. <laughs> Nice. There we go. Oh. 
Oh, okay. Well, can I have my... Be good? There. Oh, okay. Actually, you know what? I prefer you being on that side. <laughs> you just shut the but door right on me, huh? Yeah, he shut the door on me, but uh, you know what? I'll take it. All right. So right now we're just collecting three passcodes. Uh, we're going to need them for a door later on, but this section can be kind of a toss up on whether or not you'll have uh, good spawn locations for the, excuse me, for the second uh, passcode. Because sometimes that passcode can uh, get away from you a little, little easily. Yeah, quite literally. <laughs> quite literally, yes. All right. Excuse me, fellas. Oh, wait. I almost skipped the door. I just did not see it. There we go. Oh, hello. There we go. Are you, you're, I'm yeah, surprised there you I go. didn't kill him. Yeah, I'm really surprised too. The shotgun is quite questionable. Yeah, the shotgun there you is. Go. Oh. oh. Well, there. There it goes. Oh. I guess this is my life now. You never get in that back. No. <laughs> well, I guess, guess the runs we'll over. just have to <laughs> reset and come back another day. No. Oh. No, no, Ada. Ada. Ada, you and your. Whoa. No. <laughs> the, funny Whoa. Thing about the, the funny thing about that enemy that just stole is that he actually he spawns all around this ship. And. Yeah. Um, the game technically wants you to go find him a different way than what we're doing, but because we've completely ignored him, the game has gone. Hey, come back. And it brings hey. him over to us. <laughs> yeah, so, and sometimes... Uh, hold on. Are they dead? Oh, you're not dead. Oh, there we go. What do they drop? Oh, skill points, ew. You mean you <laughs> don't want skill points? <laughs> no, I don't. I want to be a skillless gamer forever. That's my, that's my ultimate goal. Yeah, so you can see, like, a little bit that he's, like squirming around you can kind of see them a little bit yeah we we're just waiting for the fire to you go might actually and, go uh, into the oh wait <laughs> uh no thank there you there we go he's dead he, he he has so much rng that enemy but it's not bad rng as such he's always in this immediate vicinity there you go shoot him in the knee and then we want to pick up the final passcode that's actually pretty decent. Sometimes we can get really bad luck on uh, on Buddy here. Thankfully, yeah, good, uh... where am I? Okay, we're good. <laughs> you said the door. Oh, yeah. Listen, the camera angles, I'm yeah. telling you. We said the camera angles are something to be desired, okay? I mean... <laughs> I love it. I love the camera angles. They are my favorite in the whole entire series. Uh, definitely my best uh, camera and the best camera angle in the the franchise. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just love, <laughs> I love the angle. It's great. And the hair um, coming up is your favorite uh, favorite little tw like 20, 30 second section. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we finally got all the passcodes, and now uh, no, you can't get two seconds to yourself. So right now we're just kind of waiting until all this dialogue cuts through. We're really staring at that elevator button because we really need to know that that's what we need to press. Just just so you know. <laughs> but yeah, so right now we're just kind of waiting until our doppelganger uh, shuts up a little bit. All right. Any day now, Koala. He is not impressed. It's quite a long section. We're just stood here waiting at the elevator. <laughs> mm -hmm. Even though we could just press it and continue the conversation, but uh, no, we have to have it here. There we go. All right. So uh, this section, huh? We're going to open this door. We're going to actually bump into uh, Chris. Hey, buddy. Hey, to wait. Hey, to no, don't wait for anybody. We're going to have to get this door real quick before it closes. Thankfully, we have a power slide You're that just gets us through that. No time it's barking up the wrong tree, Chris. <laughs> All right. We're just going to skip through here. This is this is one of my least favorite sections of the game. You're basically Metal Gear Solid meets Ada. Uh, that's essentially what this section is. You just avoid the spotlights. This one's easy uh, to avoid, though, so it's not too bad. Yeah, the second one, however, is quite... You might get hit, you might not get hit. 
It said it's quite the specimen, that, uh, that, that particular part. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, am I, I, I think I'm going in the right way, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're good. The, the camera, the camera can sometimes get turned around a bit here. Uh, we can't crawl. We have to basically just let this section, uh, there you go. Now we can crawl. It takes a while before it's like, yeah, you can finally go through here, uh, like this. It's, it's cool, uh, but it takes, like, about 20 seconds to do yeah. that. There's, there's a really specific tech you can do to blow yourself up and knock yourself halfway through the vent, but it's it's horrible to do. <laughs> yeah, I was not down to learn that last minute, so uh, we're doing it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> I'm not down to learn it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after you telling me the horror stories of it, I'm like, no, you know what? Maybe I'll pass. Huh? More searchlights, huh? All right. My oh, you, butt I thought you got were safe, caught. <laughs> I thought I was safe too. I was like, oh, yay, that's fine. Cool. <laughs> no, my. Uh, Aid is behind. Aid is but Yeah, it just got a little, a little too in the way there. It's okay, though. I can't believe this. Yeah. Um, Usually you'd, you'd have to wait there, anyways, if you don't want to get caught, but. Yeah. Eh. That, that, that part's really hard, anyway, because the, the hitbox on the spotlight is really weird. Like you can be inside it or like it can be kind of far away from you, but it'll still notice you if you move. It, it's a very weird hitbox. Yeah. All right. So I don't have any of that. That's fine. I will admit I died here earlier accidentally. There you go. Yeah, so these guys are a one-shot kill. You don't have to really worry about them too much. You just shoot them once and you carry on like normal. You're good. Yeah, if you miss it all, they will jump on you and you basically just fall through the vent and Chris puts a gun at you and you, you doubt you, you're dead, that's it. <laughs> yep. All right. We're almost there, I think. There you go. Where are we? I can't see. Yes, rolling <laughs> in this game can be very uh, awkward because it doesn't show you exactly where you need to be. It's just, yeah, we're going to stare at this wall real quick. Yeah, a lot right. of it is just guesswork. <laughs> Pretty much. All right, so we just, uh, yeah, get through the hole. Oh, Whoa. <laughs> I got a little nervous there, not gonna lie. <laughs> Please don't crash. That's the last thing I want to deal with uh, on GQ. Don't let GQ. it end like this. Yeah, please don't. Alma team, this is HQ. All right. Uh, time for the mail monster. Yeah, the, the best part of the run, uh, the entire section where we have to fight a uh, massive glob of mayo. Yep, and I might have to do a bit of a retry. Uh, which isn't the end of the world because the retry point is like exactly where we need to be anyways, but uh, there is a point where we might have to do that. Yeah, there's a, there's a very specific tech we do uh, at the end of the sub chapter. It's kind of hard to do. But... Yeah, so retrying, you're, you're usually, it's faster to usually just retry than it is to actually do it the normal way that the game wants you to do. So the intended way. No. <laughs> We're not doing it the intended way, <laughs> which is just super slow. So, for anyone who doesn't know here, um, our doppelganger, Captain named Carla, thinks she's Ada, and she injected herself in with a massive dose of the sea virus, so they've turned her into this massive, ugly monster, and she's trying to take down Ada because she believes she's the real Ada. <laughs> no, I'm Ada Wong. And we're no, like, I'm yeah. Ada Wong. We're like, I'm Ada, what do you mean? <laughs> Oh, oh. Hit yeah, box sometimes, again. yeah, I'm like super far away, but somehow magnet, magnets. Oh, hello, Carla. Yeah, Carla, oh, and yeah, yeah right. Carla spawns extra little mayo Carlas, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> she, she loves to get in the way, uh, just ever so slightly. And also we're waiting to open the door for our so-and-so co-op partner, but we don't have any. So there's just an awkward animation of Ada holding open the door for nobody. You know, I don't even know if they were there in the original before her co-op campaign was released. They must have had to add those in, surely. Yeah, no, they, they, like I said before, like they added the co-op situation for this game uh, quite late into development, so it's it, it feels a little unfinished for Ada's section, but... Yeah, the issue is with her co-op, they would have had to basically remake the game, and I don't believe Capcom would be bothered doing that. <laughs> no. Like, why add someone in for the entire game and all the cutscenes when you can just throw him in there? <laughs> right. 
So this part, if you go backwards, even the slightest bit, uh, yeah, you will die. Yeah, you, you will get eaten. Like it, there is no margin for error in that particular corridor at all. <laughs> no. No leeway for us, unfortunately. And, uh, here coming up is the tech that we were just talking about. Uh, uh, might have to try them, but hopefully not. Uh, hopefully she's nice. Hopefully uh, we do it one shot, one sh first try. Let's first go. Try. So um, basically what we're trying to do here is as Carla spawns, we're trying to hit the little canisters behind her as her hitbox spawns in, uh -huh. uh, making it so... He dies instantly, more or less. Um, because as she's spawning in, her hitbox doesn't spawn in for a while. Nice. There, you go. there we go. First try, let's go! Very good. That, that, that was really good. <laughs> yes! Oh, so you have basically the whole thing is, yeah, the hitbox isn't solidified yet. So basically we're just trying to get the grenade, uh, the... Explosive arrows before she completely solidifies, so we don't have to do it normally. We just hit the canisters, and then you're done. Yeah, it's, it's um, kind of a tight hitbox, but once you get it down, it's really easy to do. Yeah, once you get like the rhythm of it, it takes a few tries, uh, and you'll repeatedly hear, "I hate you! I'll kill you!" She's already dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so now we're just going through another on-rail section, which uh, is just protecting Leon, while Leon is apparently struggling. There's too many of them, but I don't see any. Uh, where are they? I mean, you just killed them all. <laughs> um, yeah, I know. This part is... this part. You can use actually quite a bit of time on this part, because oh. um, this entire section basically just... It depends on whether Leon walks to the uh, specific area to the left or not. If he doesn't, it's it's pain. Like there you yeah. go. Yeah, <laughs> he just sits there quite often. But thankfully, he's he's moseying his way over slowly. You know, if you got bad RNG when uh, Helena goes, ah, oh, this sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, re she really just likes to drill it in that this sucks. I mean, it uh, does specifically that part. <laughs> All right, so this part, we just have to shoot down four helis, uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, there's not really too much going on here. It's a lot of just uh, spray and pray and then get to the get to the very end. Uh, unfortunately, Simmons will probably give us a bit of grief, but uh, it's okay. That's just, that's part of the course. <laughs> I can't see anything. <laughs> I like how they're they're shooting missiles, but where are the missiles going? They're like hitting themselves. Yeah, I they're not even facing towards us. Yeah, but somehow the missiles are yeah, they're just hitting themselves with them. Quite funny. There we go. And now the final one. Oh there we go. Oh they actually got that one. Oh, yeah, that one that one did come behind yeah. them. I think Oh look, they're they're aiming. They're I think doing they're shooting something. them from the sides. <laughs> they're trying. And They're the trying. Best. All right. So now we're just waiting for this part where we're just going to chuck a bunch of missiles into them. Yeah, the um, <laughs> the preface behind this fight is that it's meant to be a little difficult. You're meant to move around, you know, not get killed. But we, we just shoot it four times with the rocket and it dies. <laughs> very simple, very easy. Very we simple. love that for us. All right, Simmons. So we're just going to wait till he gets into his pterodactyl dinosaur dino crisis mode <laughs> did you not know this is a dino crisis remake <laughs> i think you mean exo primal ah yeah sorry my bad oh exo yeah sorry primal. yeah exo primal um, that's the that's the one so this fight is actually really interesting in the fact that simmons technically doesn't take damage when he's in his dino form the main progression for the fight happens when he's in his human form um he has a stagger bar that turns him into a human, but he only takes true damage when he's in his human form. And he actually, even in human form, he still takes reduced damage until you knock him onto one knee. They, they, they really wanted to hammer in the fact that this this man does not die in this yeah. fight. He he just takes a whole. Oh jeez, okay, nice. that was loud. That was pretty good though. That was really good. Um, I think. I think I'm on PB pace. You Not might very lie. well be. I'm pretty sure I'm on PB pace. I'm here for it. 
you um in, in you can basically one cycle each cycle of this fight ex except this part this is like a um it's just an on the rails thing again where you just shoot him to stop him killing Kalena and leon but um yeah. you need to do a very specific amount of damage to him in his human form and then kill him again when he transforms back into his dino form and the fight will end uh, if, you, if you don't one cycle the second phase that's coming up after this the fight's like an extra two minutes <laughs> It's a very long segment if you're not too careful. Very true. All right. Jeez. There we go. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm doing my best. I'm so sorry. It could, I mean, look what's just happened here now. You, you did this. I, yeah, this is all my fault. Or actually, my you know. eye. <laughs> Honestly, this is technically a lot of Aiden's fault. Uh, very true, actually. So technically, it is my fault. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're just going to get him in his human form here, hopefully, if he decides to cooperate. So once he's in his human form, uh, Kat's going to wait until he's on one knee. Like, he only, he only takes extra damage when he's there. And... Because of the position he's in, Leon might actually start punching him. Maybe? 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 Is, is he gonna... There, there we go. go. And um, we get him in his... <laughs> Once he's on one knee, Kat's going to start spamming rockets at him. Um, because if you if you spam him any other time with the rockets, he basically takes no damage. Um, uh. So that's, that's definitely enough to put him into... He, he has one HP now, basically. <laughs> Yeah. So, the, so the next so, time he transforms. Pretty much done. Yeah. It's a very good fight, to be fair. It's a very loud section, by the way. So I apologize if you can barely hear us. <laughs> uh, he, the gun gets a little loud. I don't know what it is with Capcom and loud gun sections. It just... It, <laughs> they're upset. They, they love the loud noises. There we go. Nice. There we go. A good fight. Hey, later, Simmons. You little loser. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now we're back. Uh, we're still not done with the heli. Uh, we got a few more things to do with it. AKA, we have to save the civilians that end up dying anyways. It's fine. It's, it's fine. I'm sure they're just <laughs> exhausted from the long day of zombies, you know, attacking them. They're definitely not dead. Yeah, they're just, they're just lying down resting in a little bit. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it. <laughs> this section is basically just kill every enemy in the area, and if you miss one, you're kind of screwed. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> sometimes they'll, like, be off in the distance, and you're like, where are you? What are you Where? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, some of them can be, like, really weirdly off camera because of the, like, the angle that they're on. Yeah. There you go. Explode him, and then... Oh, wow. What a perfect event of things to happen. Like, did you just set up the fight for Leon and Helena? That's crazy. <laughs> exactly. We're just setting up setting up everything for everybody else. All right. What a coincidence. There you go. And now we get our favorite whoppers. Oh my god, it's like it's like there's two points. I don't even understand why they're in this part. <laughs> they they love whoppers. Yeah. Uh, I'm wondering what the one I, I honestly I would not want a whopper chasing after me. They look pretty they look pretty menacing. How big was yeah. the one whopper's shirt before he transformed? Because like it like one of them is not wearing the shirt, the other one has it like really stretched. I'm wondering what that was that shirt made out of. Oh god knows honestly. Uh, Burger King Whoppers? Oh of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's like hey. it's like the Hulk's pants, you know, they just stretch. Oh of course. <laughs> well, the one guy did have like a yellow and red mustard yellow mustard yeah that's what on. i was asking about yeah made out of whoppers oh of course i guess that's it then yeah, exactly and that's uh that's that chapter or that part of the chapter anyway Ex i still don't know. understand why you have to wait after killing them all for so long yeah i don't i don't understand it either you're like they're all dead can yeah. i please carry on <laughs> no i have to sit here and wait for a cutscene. all right cool <laughs> It's not like any more of them are going to come climb up while you're landing. I'm actually quite surprised that there isn't. Oh, look. Oh, yeah, they're we, sleeping. Saved, we tried to save them. Yeah, they're, they're, they're sleeping. They're, they're just fine. Really, really tired. 
All right. So now we're up to the final boss fight with Simmons, uh, where he's no longer Dino. He is now Dog. Doggo <laughs> Simmons? Crazy. Do Doggo Simmons okay. with a uh, crazy banana gun yeah. that, he's, <laughs> that he just so happens to have. I like to call it a banana gun anyways. A rail gun with bananas in it. That's mad. Yeah. Look at that. Look at all those bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, banana go. gun, banana gun. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. And oh, uh, don't shoot me with your bananas. We basically just sit right. here for a bit. It's, it's, it's this is literally just a timed event. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just gonna avoid him or try my best to avoid him and just wait until he's done freaking out so we can move on, move on to the next section. Sometimes we'll get hit. It's it's, it's fine. Uh, it's since it's all timed anyways. Yeah, we're basically, we're basically just waiting for Leon and Helena to finish climbing a rope. <laughs> like, we're, we're kind of stuck here until that's done. Yeah. And they take they take a while to climb, so it's, it's, it's fine. Oh yeah, AI Leon and Helena are so slow. <laughs> You're telling me. Like, All right. Um, as a general rule, like when you're playing as them, if you time it perfectly, you can you can basically just climb infinitely, like really fast. But <laughs> yeah. All right. Is he gonna charge? It should be done here. Oh yeah. It's usually after he says yeah, there hey, Yeah. There you go. And now we gotta start doing damage to him. Uh, we want to just basically do as much damage as possible. I'm not your little dog. All right. Nice. Uh, oh, guy. <laughs> yeah, he's just getting absolutely obliterated with explosive. <laughs> he's fine. Uh, oh, excuse me. Oh, wow. They, Leon and Helena are destroying him. They're actually being helpful. Let's go. Uh, sometimes a zombie can actually spawn behind them because they're like on the opposite platform. If, if yeah. a zombie doesn't spawn, they will help you a lot. If if not, then you kind of screwed. <laughs> a little bit. All right, so that's the second section of this, and now uh, it's a lot of just doing damage. Or I think we're yeah. Now we're just waiting for uh, for them to climb the rope, and uh, so we're just going to take the liberty to just kill some da zombies. I thought trying to get some extra ammo. Yes. Some this, extra ammo would be nice. Because this uh, this next Ooh. part is an ammo sink. <laughs> yeah, it takes a little while to uh, get Simmons to uh, just just fall over and push Leon off uh, off a ledge. Come on, you two. I'm surprised they're just doing that with nothing but their arms. It's uh, honestly it's insane. I couldn't do that. <laughs> That's pretty impressive, honestly. I'd like you'd have to put a little bit of your legs into that, no? I just don't think Capcom could be bothered doing the legs. <laughs> Maybe. I don't think I, like, unless you have incredible upper body strength, There's I've never seen anybody just full willingly climb a rope like that. I mean, to be fair, have you seen Leon? I mean... <laughs> yeah, true. You know, you're, you're right. You, you know what? You're right. I bet Leon could really do anything he wanted to at this point. Yeah, probably. We're just gonna have a wholesome moment with Ada and Leon. You know, Leon's gonna protect uh, protect Ada, protect the, the 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 waifu. Ada must be protected at all costs. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we love Ada. Protect her. Yes. There we go. I'm gonna listen for Helena. Is she gonna shoot? Yeah, um, Helena can just oh, sometimes not shoot yeah. here, and if you if she doesn't, then you have to restart checkpoint because uh, during this sequence here, while Simmons is giving Leon a lecture for some reason, um, they can damage his final boss form um, until he starts transforming into Doggo again. Yeah. So basically, right now we're just kind of hoping that Helena's shooting, and she is, so we're good. Um, Ada's gonna get protected. Leon would definitely be dead in this scenario, not gonna lie, especially uh, right now. Leon trained his back every single day. Yeah. <laughs> that is some Kevlar. 
Either the Kevlar or the uh, insane back muscles are just bulletproof at this point. So this in this entire fight here is basically just railing uh, Simmons until he dies. <laughs> yeah, it's. A lot of just shooting and hoping, uh, yeah, we have no uh, shoddy ammo. That's unfortunate. All right, well, whatever. You know what? You know what I do got, though? Those fire nades. There you go. So Simmons has two phases in this fight, technically. He, he can take damage to zero um, before he goes into phase two, um, if you're fast enough. And... As you can see here, he's now going into phase two when he starts doing a, a little laugh at Ada for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> Ada! <laughs> um, I don't know why they made it like this, but he's completely invulnerable while he's in that state. I think, I think it's just basically saying, hey, he's nearly dead. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Nice. Very quick. There's a good very, fight. Very, very quick. So, uh, Leon? beg for your life uh i'm just gonna sit here and watch you uh beg for your life yep exactly i'll <laughs> all right well i guess i'll help out i can't always get your way simmons that's not how the world works all right all right and she just drops him off and uh hopes that he's dead doesn't really doesn't really double check and also just leaves leon like okay, bye. Thanks for saving my life, but I'm gonna go now. I got I got other things to do, like uh, you know, laboratories to explode. So this is pretty much the uh, the end of the run here. So we're gonna be coming up on time very very shortly. Uh, so, I kind of want to skip the end cutscene, but I also you know, think you'd be my PB. Oh, so. <laughs> you might yeah, I'm, skip it. Skip it. <laughs> Is at my, I know I'm probably on PB pace right now, so right I'm now like, it's like oh. 115, 30, 115, 116. Have you been counting? I was going to. It's on the screen. I was going to count. <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah, oh, but that's oh. yeah, he is. Well, it? yeah, but IGTs would be less. Oh yeah, I only got one yeah. twenty IGT. <laughs> she watches the final hey, cutscene. Listen, it's seven in the morning. Okay. <laughs> and time. Uh, all right, let's see who the go. IGT was. All right, we're skipping. We're skipping. We're skipping. Nice. Oh, PB, let's go! Um, if nice. we want to, you can very quickly go check out uh, your time if you want to go through chapter select. Um, oh. It shouldn't take too All long right. to do, but... Hey, that means I have to redo this run. I think I'm back into this category. <laughs> <laughs> you forced it. Hey. Yeah, there we go. That's awesome. Thank you so much, uh, everybody, for watching. If you don't know, again, who I am, my name is Catlink. Uh, I stream on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash catlink if you want to come check it out. Uh, I do a lot of horror game speedruns, mainly a lot of RE titles, Silent Hill, indie indie game horror, dark fantasy sort of games. They're all my jam. I love it. So if you want to come check that out, I would really appreciate it. Also, please go check out uh, the Demented Salad. He runs this game. He is far better at this game than I am. Uh, and he's been actively running it for quite some time. So also go check him out. Thank you again for commentating and all that. Hey, no worries. Appreciate I enjoyed it. it. Thank you. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, and thank you as well to Ignite for having me of on. Of course. Uh, and GDQ. And thank you, Richard. Richard, <laughs> thank you, Richard. That was a good run. Let's see the IGT. Let's see what you actually got though while we're still okay. here. Yeah, let's... Uh... I'll, I'll get a timer calculator to add it all up. Um, I'm ready. Up, For people who don't know about RE6, um, it uses all in-game time, and you can see what you got in every chapter throughout the game's um, kind of chapter select. Um, so even if you don't have the best computer, it doesn't really matter because uh, IGT. Okay, 1423. Right. 1423, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, <laughs> well, that's more the reason. Uh, if you want to watch more uh, Cat Link do RE6, you can find her at that link in chat. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Cat Link. 
a lot of fun stuff there. But yeah, thank you once again for doing the run, and it was fun stuff. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And thank you, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate it. I don't usually have chat open, so <laughs> if I missed your message, don't be insulted. I just closed chat for concentration reasons. But thank you, everybody, for watching and chat. I really, really do appreciate it. Well, it clearly it. paid off. <laughs> yeah. It was, very, it was very good run. Well, hopefully we'll be able to see more RE6 from you. And thank you again for doing the run. Uh, before we head on off, uh, either of you have anything else you would like to add? Um, if you want to come check out RE6, um, there, there is a speedrun page for it. Um, you can also join the RE speedruns Discord. There's a bunch of stuff in there for it. Um, people in there will help you out. Um, yeah, anything to add, Cap? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, we're always willing to help you out if you're looking into why something's not working or you want to know something about strats. You know, we have lots of really helpful people in the RE6, uh, RE6 Discord uh, and just in general for people who speedrun this game. We're all very nice people. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah. Thank you for having me. And uh, I hope everybody has a good night. Yeah.